Yo, how's it going, gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris the Gamer. Today, guys, I am bringing you another episode of Advanced Warfare 1v1. Sadly, guys, today's episode is not going to be live. I was playing in this match, it was a really insane and just overall fun competitive match. And for some weird reason, my software did not work properly, it just didn't record my voice, and a lot of issues were just going on. So, I figured that I'd just do a regular commentary over over this it's the same thing I can give you guys tips on how I was thinking throughout the game because I know how I was thinking throughout this whole game so basically when I first started playing off against this person I knew that his whole main thing was that he liked to plant the bomb he liked to plant the bomb every now and then when he did plant the bomb he went to obvious spots you know just like he did in this round he planted the bomb towards my spawn then what did he do he goes towards my spawn and he plays in my spawn that's a basic thing to do as a player you just basically you're just playing the bomb you're just planting the bomb and you're playing it and you're not really using anything to your advantage now you're just using that bomb to your advantage when i can use the bomb to my advantage as well because obviously all i have to do is look at the bomb see where it's at and i could kind of see where you are so off the map off the round on recovery, I like throwing nades just because nades are so useful. They get to let you know what happens. I don't get no nade hit markers right here. I'm just trying to figure out where this guy is because usually on recovery, you either see them sniping middle, you see them going towards B, you know, rushing that B bomb site or side B, or you see him A street, and I just literally saw nothing. So I run through their spawn, you know, I don't really see this guy, and I'm trying to check all my corners and everything. 1v1s in advanced warfare, and basically in any Call of Duty, you always get that Call of Duty timing where you're checking all your corners and you forget to check one corner and boom he's there in that corner kills you and you lose the round because of it and it just gutters you you're just literally looking at yourself like why did i not check that corner why was i playing so fast that i couldn't wait a couple seconds to check that corner so that's what i try to do when i play i try to check all my corners sometimes it does get a little bit of hectic because there are tons of corners in maps you know there could be in any type of spot you know corners everywhere corners just in the map everywhere the basic reason why i won that gunfight was the imr and the saying i say is it's his host so sometimes you got to pull out those, those warrior weapons to get those kills since it is his host he has those host powers he could do some unquestionable super power stuff to me and i could be looking at my screen and like how did I lose that gunfight my shots were not missing so the IMR the HBR you know those warrior weapons to help you win those gunfights you gotta do it you gotta play dirty sometimes that's what I'm always telling people there's no reason to get sad or get mad or it's, if people say you're only good with an IMR it's in the game if it's not banned then it's usable and that means that obviously they're allowing this weapon to be used because it's not too overpowered even though this thing is quite overpowered so throughout the whole game on recovery I found that this rush route is the best thing to do you just rush that person's top jungle and if they were to plant the B bomb you can hurry up and dash towards B and try to see if he comes out of the B building or if he goes side being if you don't see nothing then you know he's in your spawn or he went middle or he's still inside the b building and if he doesn't plant b and he plants a all you have to do is just dash out you see him if he goes underneath if he goes back towards his spawn or if he goes and pushes your spawn i did that twice and in my head right now i was like i cannot do that again i've done that twice he's definitely going to check it the next time i do it just because one i don't like doing things once again you know once i do something i don't like to do it two times and i kind of did it two times by going up there and it was kind of weird the fact that he didn't even check it he didn't even challenge it he just went ahead and dropped the bomb again and didn't really do anything so i knew this time i could not do that again when i did have defense because it just wouldn't work out so right here i'm trying to look for this guy like i said before you know i went middle then i went and checked a street didn't really see much so i just dropped the bomb sometimes you just got to drop the bomb it's not really a rush plant but it is kind of a quick and fast plant so i turned my mute because you want to make sure that you be silent when you're doing your exos i just want to check and see if he's behind me and now it's just time for me to check my spawn see where he's at go inside dome because i planted it to where you could kind of see it from your spawn which is something that a lot of people like to do and i see him here you do not have to take any type of shots taking shots here would be an amateur mistake and you would be basically losing this round for no reason and then right there when i see him behind the bomb i don't have to challenge i have the time in my hands i have the time in my advantage all i have to do is play the time i jump up see that he's trying to go for that cheeky little ninja i hop up hit that dash and end up getting the kill so now we're up 4-0 i'm feeling really good right now you know 
if you really think about it, we could blow a lot of rounds. We could blow, you know, two straight rounds doing some unorthodox stuff, you know, some weird rush routes and stuff like that. But I'm not, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to rush jungle because I already knew that he was going to be checking at this round. So I wanted to play a little bit different. I wanted to clear out middle. I wanted to see if he was going to push me, you know, he down for, oh, he got to do something different. So I was going to see if he could push middle. So I kept trying to check middle. And when I come around this corner, I see him right there in the mid cut straight. Give him that Mayweather. Boom. He's out of here. And then the un thinkable happens he drops host he's out of here he dashboards boy this ain't the xbox 360 he was done man he did not want to play no more he was tired of it hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of advanced warfare one v ones hopefully you guys did enjoy the commentary part of this i am sorry that my elgato kind of messed up and did not record my voice properly and the whole game sound was messed up as well so i am sorry about that next week will be better i promise and because this video kind of messed up i'm gonna try to give you guys three more 1v1 episodes and if you guys could also do me a big favor i'm gonna be having an update video in a couple days or a couple weeks and that update video is huge i have some really awesome series coming towards the end of this game and it involves you guys so make sure you guys come check out that video and if you guys have any questions that you want me to cover in my update video anything that you guys want to know anything about esports anything about me put that in the comment section below and i will make sure to show your comment in that video and answer it hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode like i said before subscribe to the channel if you want to try to get better with your 1v1s and at competitive call of duty overall and as always this is your boy chris here aka chris again we'll see you guys next time peace out